So then guys, iOS 26, it's here, it's launched today, September 15th, and Apple's packed in a ton of new features, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install iOS 26 on your iPhone, and then walk through with you six of the best features that I absolutely love about it. Now, first things first, I want to tell you is that to have iOS 26, you must have the likes of an iPhone 11 or newer, or the iPhone SE second generation or newer. If you have an older iPhone, like an iPhone XS, for example, or, you know, the iPhone XR, or, you know, the XR XS, or anything old like that, even say a single digit iPhone, like the 8, 7, you name it, unfortunately you cannot get iOS 26 so I just want to make that clear right there and then but let's go through the steps XOR, and how to store iOS 26 and it's quite simple to do so before you update, make sure that you've got your iCloud backup all set up or for example, transfer your data to a computer or to a Mac and also make sure that you have over 50% battery on your phone or at least have it plugged in and collected to a solid Wi-Fi connection. Now, next of all, go into settings, then general, then software update and now you'll see iOS 26 is ready to download. Now, it would be quite a few gigabytes, and to be honest, depending on what phone you got, depends on the size of how big that update will be. Now, also, the other thing I wanna say is that obviously, depending on how fast your actual internet speed is, also matters on how long it would take to download. So it could take a matter of minutes, it could take a matter of hours, so it all depends on those kind of factors. But once it's installed, it will tell you to reboot your iPhone, and then after that, you have to wait a little bit, and then you'll be able to see that you have booted into iOS 26 for the very first time, as you can see, like right here. Now, with all of that installed and everything, I wanna go over my six favorite features of iOS 26. And the first one I would say is Liquid Glass. And you can see this straight away. You can see all your apps, logos, they've all been updated. And also, for example, if I pull down the notification, you can see this Liquid Glass effect here. And you can see like reflections across the whole interface, the lock screen, the control center, and even just simple dialogue boxes now feel even more alive. This is Apple's biggest visual update they have done in years. In fact, I think it's the first time since iOS 7. So it's been a long time coming. And it does really make your phone feel really fresh again with this. But then after that though, the second best feature that I love about this is the new adaptive power mode, what's introduced in iOS 26. Now this is something what you want to turn on straight away. Think of this as a smarter low power mode. Instead of you having to manually turn on that low battery power mode, this is an intelligent one what's built into your phone. It works out your daily kind of bits and pieces that you do on your phone, how you literally use your phone, and then with this switched on, it can actually estimate where to save power. So when it notices, for example, if you're driving home or, I don't know, taking the bus home, and obviously you might be using your phone more often during that time, then obviously it will give you that performance when you need it. But if it also notices that you are working and it's sitting in your pocket, then they will also pull down the power of the cores so it makes sure it doesn't actually use up as much battery during that time. So I would definitely turn on this feature as you can see right here in settings. Now my third favorite big upgrade we got was with the Photos app. And we actually got some great updates here with the library and also collections now. It's really, really great to use this. But one thing I also absolutely love is the spatial scenes feature. This uses depth data to get your photos and create a 3D-like parallax effect when you tilt or move your phone. It's really, really awesome as you can see right here. It makes portrait shots and also key memories feel much more alive and it looks awesome. It looks like you're looking through like a window rather than just a flat screen and it's amazing. 
And then after this, my next favorite feature is reminders in iOS 26. They've got a lot more smarters now because they're actually integrated with Apple Intelligence. You can now suggest tasks based on things that are already on your email, like a note, an email, or even something that you've typed earlier. It also categorizes reminders too, so you automatically get lists and they're all super neat without you having to do the work. It feels like having a little assistant keeping track of everything for you in the background. It's really awesome. Now, moving on to my fifth favorite feature, and that's to do with AirPods Pro or any AirPods that has the H2 chip in them. So like the AirPods 4 and the new AirPods Pro 3, you can now actually start a video recording using your AirPods. You just have to squeeze them. And this is great. So you can use it with the camera app, for example. So you can actually use these for, for example, content creations and things like this. You don't have to reach over to your phone. You can just start them with your actual AirPods. This is pretty neat to have. And then finally, one of my favorite features I know I'm going to use quite a lot, and that is you can use the chat GPT and screenshot and ask ability. So whenever you take a screenshot on your phone, there's actually an option to ask about it. And this connects back to chat GPT and you can ask something about it. So for example, if you've seen a really, really nice meal and you love the look of it, you can ask it for a recipe for that meal without you having to do the homework to research it yourself. This is really awesome to have. And with this, this makes screenshots so much more powerful. They're no longer just images on your phone, but they've actually come a bit more interactive as it were. But there you have it then guys, that is iOS 20. And this makes screenshots so more powerful. They're no longer just images, they've become interactive now. But there we have it then guys, that's how you install iOS 26 and that is also six features in iOS 26 that I absolutely love and cannot wait to use them now on day to day basis. Are you going to be updating iOS 26 on your phone today or in the next couple of days? Well, let me know in the comments below and also let me know what feature you're most excited about using. Maybe it's one of the six features I've mentioned today or maybe it's one of the other cool features that was mentioned with iOS 26. But in either case, do let me know. And like I said as well, guys, it's time to wrap up this video too. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. As always, you're in the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Until next time guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye bye.